Could scenes like this now become a thing of the past after the completion of the Bujagali interconnection project? The completion has cost 227 billion Ugandan shillings. This includes the installation of electricity lines to transport the electricity from sources of transmission plants at Nalubale, Kawanda and Mutunwe substations from where it is distributed to the public. These have now been boosted as well in capacity, bringing the total energy generation from all plants in the country at peak time to 484 megawatts. It is adding, it has added capacity, farm capacity has been increased. As I'm talking of now, that's why I say that we have now a farm generation capacity farm, 484 on the grid, yet our demand is around. 474. So for the first time in so many years, we have made, uh, we are now meeting our demand requirement. This means that all the thermal generation that was boosting the supply of the national grid has been phased out and this money will now be diverted to other government programs. So, what does this mean to an average consumer apart from the constant load shedding? Now, the consumers we increase it slightly from 400 to 500. Regulator computed out what it costs now to meet all the costs. Now, again, slowly but surely, the cost are uh, the cost reflective tariff, the costs of what it costs to generate, transmit, distribute power, bring that kilowatt hour to your house is made by you, the consumer. Still, the government, by the way, we have some summer power plant for emergency purposes. They are still there. And those ones, it's not a very big cost. The interconnection lines have helped expand the national grid to increase the rate of access by communities to electricity. The transmission lines are currently evacuating all the 250 megawatts from Bujagali power plant and the Bujagali switch yard will be upgraded to 220 kilovolts soon. These are all aimed at increasing rural electrification and distribution. Krikadoda, NTV.